In this video, we're going to go over the settings options that we have inside of our software. So to open up the settings, we just want to click on the settings button from the home screen. And starting from the top going down, we have licensing. Clicking on that will bring up the licensing options for the software. Um, I don't recommend that anybody click into this and change anything. Otherwise, uh, you do run the risk of deactivating your software and thus needing to call into our support uh, to relicense it. Next, we have email export print. Clicking on that will bring up a option to add a header or footer to email exported or printed exams, as well as uh, show when those header and footers are going to be displayed. Checking use uh, international tooth notation is going to bring up a option so that international tooth notation is going to be used. Checking slow, uh, show all patients in select patient will display every single patient that you have in the patient list um, automatically rather than you having to type in a patient's name. Always load full size images in exam is going to always load the full resolution image inside of an exam rather than a thumbnail. Um, for those last two settings, if you have a slower bandwidth network, um, I don't recommend you turning those on, um, otherwise you might see some performance decrease. Next we have show mini layout in exam view. This will basically just uh, pop out a mini layout uh, whenever you're in the exam mode and then you can easily and quickly jump to whatever image that you want just by clicking on that image. Zoom in on single click in exam view will be able to click on one image and that image will then be enlarged. Search for exact tooth matches in history is once you go into the history option and you uh, click on a tooth to display, it'll only display images from the actual selected teeth instead of a range of teeth. Going down, you have database. Um, I don't recommend you changing any of the database options, otherwise that computer might not be able to connect back to the database. Um, home screen text, you can add a personalized text uh, to the home screen if you wish. Um, you can also change the wallpaper of your home screen just by clicking on set wallpaper. And these are a few of our preloaded wallpapers that you can use. Um, otherwise you can actually upload your own as well. Uh, going down we have acquisition, uh, placeholder type. So you have a bunch of different placeholder types that you can select from and then clicking on the settings to the right of that will then enable you to modify or change those settings. For the sensors, I do recommend that you leave the default pixel size at 19 micron. Uh, the Clio X-ray sensor is a 19 micron sensor. Um, then you have auto contrast on acquisition, auto display enhancement, and then the default filter. I do recommend that you guys have these set uh, to what you see here, and that'll always apply a sharpening filter as well as your brightness and contrast filter by default. Um, then you have use buffer twain uh, as well as prompt for teeth on acquisition. Image size uh, by default it's 80. Um, you can change that to make it larger or smaller. And then view image after acquisition. Uh, you can change that as well if you want your preview uh, image to stay up on the screen either a shorter or longer amount of time. Next you have Clio sensor. Um, I don't recommend uh, changing any of these options either, um, but this is where you can basically change it to use high contrast mode or leave it in its uh, normal standard full res acquisition. Um, Next, we're going to go into interval camera. If you click on camera tuning, that'll allow you to modify some of the hue and saturation features on the actual camera image. Um, and then you have a couple more camera settings as well.